NCIS New Orleans' newest special agent, Tammy Gregorio, has quickly become a favorite with fans, some of whom were surely left wondering where they'd seen actress Vanessa Ferlito before. Put your hands up. Now! NCIS New Orleans definitely isn't Ferlito's debut. Here's where we've seen this Brooklynite before. 24. Ferlito scored an early breakout role on the hit Fox crime drama 24, appearing on 11 episodes of the show's third season as Claudia Hernandez, Hector Salazar's girlfriend and secret lover of the show's protagonist, Jack Bauer, played by Kiefer Sutherland. Claudia agreed to help Bauer in exchange for passage out of Mexico, but she was killed in the process. According to Ferlito, Claudia wasn't originally supposed to die, and she and Jack would have ended up together. But her character was killed off after Ferlito was cast in the 2005 Tommy Lee Jones crime comedy called Man of the House. Given the movie's abysmal 9% Rotten Tomato score, Ferlito may have ended up wishing she'd stayed on 24. Then again, Ferlito may have taken some small comfort from the fact that her performance in Man of the House was one of the few things in the critical and commercial dud to earn positive notice. While strenuously urging potential viewers to stay away, Variety noted that she stood out among the ensemble supporting Jones, mainly because she's the only one who gets enough to do to make a strong impression as a distinctive personality. Spider-Man 2 like most hardworking actors, Ferlito has occasionally appeared in projects that only featured her briefly. Take, for example, her part in 2004's Spider-Man 2. In the superhero sequel, Ferlito played Louise, Mary Jane's best friend and shopping partner. It's a small part, but at least Ferlito fans can enjoy this extended scene featuring her chatting with Mary Jane that was edited out of the theatrical cut. Okay, what about that perfect kiss you said you had once? The guy you believed in? That was a fantasy. Shadow Boxer. In 2005, Ferlito landed a role as Steven Dorff's pregnant wife in the crime thriller Shadow Boxer, and like her other big screen feature that year, Man of the House, it was critically panned. Slant dismissed it as, quote, a faux art house crime thriller and the closest approximation the movies have offered audiences this year of feeling trapped inside a rancid toilet bowl. That's some pretty scathing criticism, but Ferlito was hardly the focus. Shadow Boxer had some far bigger names attached, including Academy Award winners Cuba Gooding Jr. and Helen Mirren. CSI New York NCIS New Orleans isn't the first primetime crime drama to prominently feature Vanessa Ferlito. That honor goes to CSI New York. Ferlito appeared on 26 episodes of the long-running spin-off series before her character, Aiden Byrne, was murdered. She later claimed that it was her decision to leave, telling TV Guide, I had no intention of doing an hour TV show. I had just wrapped the movie Man of the House with Tommy Lee Jones, so it's not like I had nothing going on. But it was CSI New York. You don't say no to that. Death Proof Ferlito's first few big screen roles may not have turned out the way she'd hoped, but all that early experience paid off in 2007 with a part in Quentin Tarantino's Death Proof. Ferlito played Arlene, aka Butterfly, one of three friends killed by stuntman Kurt Russell and his Death Proof stunt car. In an interview with Aced Magazine, she claimed Tarantino wrote the role of Butterfly specifically for her. Ferlito is responsible for one of Death Proof's most talked about scenes, in which Butterfly gives stuntman Mike a lap dance. She told Aced, People still go crazy over that lap dance. It has a cult following now. Medea goes to jail. After working with Quentin Tarantino, Ferlito stepped in front of the cameras for a different sort of auteur, playing a heroin-addicted prostitute named Donna in Tyler Perry's Medea Goes to Jail. Ferlito later told Trailer Addict she loved working with Perry specifically because she appreciates working with directors who are also actors. Like most of Perry's directorial efforts, Medea Goes to Jail proved profitable at the box office, so it's safe to assume that more than a few NCIS New Orleans viewers recognize Ferlito from this big screen hit. Wall Street Money Never Sleeps Sharing a few minutes of screen time with Michael Douglas and Shia LaBeouf, Ferlito returned to theaters in 2010 with a brief supporting role in Oliver Stone's Wall Street Money Never Sleeps. In Stone's Wall Street sequel, inspired by the 2008 financial crisis, Ferlito plays a character named Audrey, a tough no-nonsense type. It's a role that the Brooklyn native was uniquely well-suited for. Stand Up Guys those who saw 2012's Stand Up Guys starring Al Pacino and Christopher Walken likely remember Ferlito as Sylvia, the woman the protagonists find in the trunk of their stolen car. The film's subplot involving Ferlito's character didn't help Stand Up Guys' critical reception. As the victim of brutal abuse, her role moved the plot, though not everyone felt her character was treated with sufficient respect. Time Magazine put it like this, It's nice that the Stand Up Guys rescue and avenge her, but her suffering is trivialized in a grossly insensitive way. Graceland. 
Ferlito returned to her television crime drama roots in 2013, joining the cast of USA Network's Graceland as FBI agent Catherine Charlie DeMarco throughout the series' three-season run. To prepare for the intense role, Ferlito told Pop Sugar that she sat down with a number of real undercover agents to discuss what the job is actually like. Though she looked to real-life agents for inspiration, Ferlito said she didn't study other actors. When I jump into a role, I just kind of go fresh. I just jump right in, because you can't focus on what other people do, or then it's just not natural. Graceland benefited greatly from Ferlito's natural affinity for crime dramas, which is ultimately the genre in which the actress truly shines, as NCIS New Orleans fans can certainly attest. Thanks for watching. Click the looper icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel, plus check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.